So I have a 1998 Toyota Tacoma, and about three years ago, I hit a fence. The fence jumped out and hit me, let's say that, and I ruined this front parking light right here. I also damaged the front quarter panel, but I replaced that, and that's fine. But this light right here has a bracket on it that's been damaged for about three years, and so I've just stuck duct tape over the surface of the light to hold it in place. But every couple of months, I'd have to take off the duct tape, or the light would just fall off by itself and just be dangling there on the freeway as I'm driving along. So it's not the safest thing, and today I'm actually just going to replace the whole thing altogether. I'm not sure why I just didn't spend the 20 bucks a year ago or two years ago to fix the thing, but better late than never. I'll link all the replacement parts in the video description. This project's going to be a little bit different than most because I've already used a lot of like glue and adhesive to try and jerry-rig the thing into place. It didn't end up working, so now we're just going to do it the right way. Let's get started. probably have to clear these headlights eventually there's some like stuff that you can put over the top of it that gets rid of the yellow coating but today we're just gonna work on this part which is completely separate from the light so we'll remove this tape it's gonna take a minute to clean all the gunk off of this truck as you can see there's been several layers of duct tape over the years that's a lot of buildup and this is the light so the part that's been broken this is a little nozzle right here that's supposed to jump into this plastic housing and this has been snapped off as well as this section right here so when i get the replacement light today it's going to have this one section here and it's going to have this plug but it's not going to have the bracket down here on the bottom so i'm going to have to figure out a way to actually correct that now all the glue and stuff that i've added is right here along the top so it turns out that this little bracket is just connected to the headlight itself, and both headlights are actually pretty cheap on Amazon right now. So I'm just going to replace the whole headlight assembly, and then I'll have a safe point to attach this light to when I get the new piece. So right now, while I'm waiting for those headlights to arrive, I'm just going to clean off this glue with a little bit of this goof off. It supposedly works on automotive surfaces. And I will drop this headlight out. Sprinkle a little bit of this on the paper towel. So I have a good chunk of it cleaned off. It helps to have like a little plastic pry tool or something. And like once it's absorbed some of that goof off stuff, I can just scrape off the majority of it. And then I can wipe it with more of the goof off and it'll come clean once the bigger chunks are removed. Now that all the duct tape gunk is gone around that edge, it's time to remove both headlights. So since this little plastic piece is broken completely off and my headlights are 20 years old and completely clouded over, I'm going to replace them with new headlights that are not clouded over and has a little plastic thing at the bottom that'll screw into the parking lot. In order to get these off, we do have to take off the grill and behind the grill in these little plastic bits right here are some tabs. The bad news with these tabs though is that 20 year old plastic is pretty brittle. So as I bend that down and pull this out, there's a good chance that these little tabs are going to break. I'll try to find replacements and link them down in the video description, but I did have these two center ones pop out. There's a few more clips down here along the bottom. I'll just snap that with my screwdriver and pull it the rest of the way out. In order for the headlight to come out, the side markers do have one little screw on the top, and the side markers have to come out first. So I will unscrew this screw all the way, set it somewhere where I can find it later, and then the side marker just pushes out along the bottom. Since this doesn't need to come out, I'm just going to leave this here. And then we have access to these two side bolts for the headlight. So this headlight has the two side bolts here, and then one down here at the bottom. So I'll take those out. And then there's one bolt right here on this side. All these are 10 millimeter. And lastly, now that we have this bolt out, this little metal thing right here can come loose, but it does have one more little plastic tab there at the bottom. And we're off. So the headlight bulbs can actually be taken out with the headlight body or the headlight lens still in place. So we're just going to unplug that. And the last bolt we have to worry about is deep inside of there. We're still working with a 10 millimeter. So I'll just stick this in the hole and we'll ratchet it out. And that allows us to remove the whole lens assembly. 
I'm gonna put the lenses side by side and make sure I'm not missing anything. It looks like there's one little clip down here at the bottom for that metal panel that I have to move over. Clip is transferable. Still have the screw hole for the back, front, the two pegs for the side, and we have the screw hole up top for that side parking marker. And then I'll take the new lens, tuck it into those side holes, and line it up, and we should be good to screw it in. Okay, so shining my headlights at that back wall right there, if I cover up one headlight, the headlight is on, by the way, the other one. It's pretty darn dim, though, when I expose the new one. It's way brighter than the old one, but it's sitting a little bit high, so I want to lower it down so it's not blinding people. Inside of this headlight assembly, there's two screws. There's one screw here, which makes the light go left and right to adjust it. And there's one screw down there at the bottom, and I'm just sitting over that with a four millimeter bolt. I'm just ratcheting it little by little, and that's bringing the headlight down ever so slightly. So I'll probably bring it down another foot from where it's at right now, and then it'll line up with the old one, and we shouldn't be blinding people while we're driving. Now, we have the whole point of this project, which is plugging back in the headlamp assembly. So I'm gonna get this wire in, rotate it up, and this pin is gonna go in this hole, and this is going to sit over the top of this little screw hole here. All right, now I need a screw for this hole. All right, now both headlights are in and the lights are screwed in. Luckily, these are plastic, so I can just toss these in the recycling bin. I don't need them anymore. I'm going to take the bulbs out just in case I need those, though. And this one with the light adjustment, the little knobs have caps on them, so that makes it a little bit easier to adjust. Just stick a screwdriver in the end and you can twist it. So now I'll put the grill back in. And that is how to replace the headlight and the side light in your Toyota Tacoma 1998. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you around.